In part one of this video segment, Peter Dima will explain the development of his 93-year-old Ford Model A engine that is officially in the books as the fastest Ford Model A on the planet, with a land speed record recorded at 238.5 miles per hour and a top speed of 240. In part two of this video, we will disassemble the engine and see how Pete and Kevin built this one-of-a-kind masterpiece. So everyone, we're here today at Pete's shop. It's a nice sunny Sunday. Been out already at a coffee and cars and uh, we are come back here and uh, Pete's gonna explain a little bit about this unique engine he has sitting right here. So Pete, what is this? Okay, this is, a, this is our first Model A. Well, it's our second Model A. Our first Model A was, um, it's kind of a long story, but my neighbor had a Model A truck and I said, let me put an overhead cam on your Model A. He said, ah, oh, Pete, you could never do that, which kind of, uh, insulting a little bit yeah so it's in the back of my head I'm at the junkyard a year or so later and there's a Subaru all apart laying on it's a core a return and so I pick up the head gasket and it's a big physically it's a big head gasket mm -hmm. uh, they're four and seven sixteenths bore center which is almost as big, that's bigger than a Chevy yeah you know? yeah it's bigger than a Chevy and the Malay is big and it's a big bore it's almost a four inch piston mm -hmm. so I grab the head gasket and I go home and I lay it on a Malay head gasket, and it's so close. It's unbelievably close. The head bolts don't fit, but the bore center. Yeah. So I talked to Kevin, and uh, I said, Kevin, we can put a pair of Subaru heads on a Malay. <laughs> so we bolted them to a plate. This was our first engine was a rock arm, a 2.2 2 liter. All right. Two, two even. Uh, two liter rocker arm, single cam. Mm -hmm. We did it for a friend of mine. And we made a cam, bolted, welded the heads together, put it on, my, on his block, and started up. He never paid me for it anyway. It was a, a good friend. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so then we, we knew it would work, so I got the good heads, the twin cam, uh, two and a half liter Subaru heads. Okay. Bought them brand new. Yeah. Um, put valves and strings in them, bolted them to the plate, weld them together. Um, Put the two the belt on it like this. Had two cams. That was that was back in uh, probably 06, 05. All right. No, it was before that. It was probably 04, 03. Mm -hmm. It was it was a long time ago. And we got the engine running. We bought a, two car cranks, four inch cranks from Crower, mm -hmm. five mains. We bought uh, a set of rods from Crower, and a set of good pistons. I don't remember uh, Janie or somebody. Yeah. High compression pistons. And we bolted the other two mains in because they're normally three mains. We used the rockers or the lifter holes to bolt the other two mains in here and here to have a five main. And then Kevin made the girdle that holds the crank in, which is this this part here. Yeah. So we've got five mains, got a strong girdle, we got the block, and we put the engine together. And then Scott, my driver, was a good friend of Doug Ayers, who had a Roadster, a Malay Roadster. The oldest car still running, or that was running. It's a 32 Roadster, mm -hmm. or 30 Malay Roadster. So we put the Malay in the car with a Chevy four-speed, and we went to El Mirage on a weekend, and we got a record, 150 miles an hour. Wow. So easy. Yeah. It was almost, in, yeah, it was easy. Easy. So I told Kevin, I, Scott, I said, this is easy. We can get a bunch of records. <laughs> so Model A's like to break, especially when you run them 6,500. No matter what you do, they break. Yeah, Model A, what does that, what, normally runs about yeah. 2,500 RPM? Yeah, right? made to run 2,500. Yeah, and you're 2, running 6,500. And we're trying to make 300 horse, right? Yeah. To Jesus. go that fast. So uh, going forward, we had nothing but problem with the engine. So. We cut two inches, This not this engine, but the original engine. We cut two inches off the top of the block, right off the top. Yeah. Because the big problem with the Subaru head, none of the bolt holes lined up. Um, the head bolts. Yeah. And they're going into very, very thin material and it kept blowing head gaskets, nothing but problem. So we bolted a plate on, a on three quarter inch plate yeah. on top. Not this engine, yeah, the original the, one. The previous motor. Which is long gone. Yeah. So now we had a good, surface to bolt the heads to. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, we started getting a lot of records. Every time we went out, we got a record. We got about 12 or 13 Model A records. Jesus. We put it in, in the streamliner. 
front wheel drive streamliner. It's in the museum in Lincoln, Nebraska. The Speedway? Speedway Museum. So anyway, the rules committee didn't like that because a few of those guys had Molle records and they didn't want to see us get them. Mm -hmm. So they made a rule, it's my rule or our rule, Kevin and my rule, that the block had to be stock height, 11 inches from here to here. And when you, when you try and run an engine with that long a rod, an eight inch connecting rod, it's just not right. Yeah. It should have a six inch, five and a half inch rod with that stroke. Sure. Um, so by shortening the deck, we could shorten the rod up. And that's... And that was the rule they made. The deck had to be... The 11 inches. This tight. And that was the rule. So... That disqualified you from running this engine That anymore. made that engine illegal. And okay. I came home, talking to Kevin. I said, Kevin, we can't run the Mall A anymore. They made a rule that the deck had to be stock height. We're, we're screwed. Ours is only 10 inches and it's gotta be 11. Sure. So he said, well, we'll make some individual heads, make four individual heads, and we'll stick them down in the bore an inch. We'll accomplish the same thing. By the and cylinder can, head taking up space. When we make the, the head, thing. we can get the head bolts in the right location, mm. the stock Molle head bolts. We, the eight inch or the 11 inch jack now is gone. Base, it's still there, but it's not because the head's down in the hole. Inside the cylinder, yeah. And the head gasket is actually a copper ring it's actually bored an eighth inch oversized. So it's sitting on a little shelf. Yeah, And exactly. it's sealing itself. Exactly. And that's a head gasket. Okay. And we'll use goop for the water. Because there's four heads, there's four water inlets and four water outlets. So you can see the individual four heads, right? By the separations here. Right. These, this is for the two middle, two middle heads. This is for the end head. This is water out. And then this is for this end head. And then on this side, you got four waters in. These four tubes are water in. And these four tubes are oil out the drain back. Okay. This goes to the, the dry sump pump. And that's because there's no way for the, the oil to drain back right. into the block, right? So and then these two smaller tubes are for the oil in. I see that right up underneath in they, the cam box. They, they feed the cams. We pump the oil through the center of the cam, to the, to the five cam bearing. Is this, and this is a three or four valve? This is a three valve. Three valve. The four valve is a lot harder to make because when the valves, they come and they touch each other, if you're not careful. Yeah. And because the cams aren't tied together, that's real possible. If you turn one of the cams, the valves will clip each other. So we made this a three valve, big exhaust valve, Two intake valves. Okay. The intake valves are smaller. We'll take it apart. Yeah. And we'll see it. That's gonna be cool. So really, what you're saying then? Okay. So this is the second engine design. The first one was running a pair of cylinder heads from Subaru. This is actually the third design. The first design was stock deck heights Subaru heads. All right. We got a bunch of records of that. Then we cut the top of the block off, mm -hmm. which was made illegal shortly after we did it. We got a few records with that engine. And then we built this engine where the head is down in the hole an inch. Okay. So there's three versions of Model A's. Okay, so this is the third version. But this, this is one the is the one that is still technically legal. Yeah, this in, one in went 240. So this is the one that set, and you set that record. It's the fastest Model A, right, at 240 miles per yeah, hour. In, in 12. In 2012 at Bonneville. Right. And then we took the same car, the same streamliner, and we moved the wheels outboard to convert it into a Lakester. Mm-hmm. And we got that record with this engine. Turbocharged Lakester, Malle Lakester. Okay, so the, you're running, this is boosted, or, or this is a high a turbo we engine. Run, we run Malle natural fuel, so boosted, it's done all three. boosted fuel, all four wow. possibilities. The thing is, when you boost them, when you put a turbo on, you have to lower the compression. Yeah, so there's a lot of different designs. Yeah, so you have to apply another set of pistons. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. So this is like pretty much those three designs. So just to recap, so the original, which had the Subaru cylinder heads, they told you you couldn't run that because it, they had made a ruling against it. The so, Subaru head, the original first version was legal. Okay. It had the t tall deck, 
Subaru heads. Mm -hmm. We got records with that because that head is so superior to anything sure. that was built in the 30s. And is that a four valve on yes. the Subaru? Yes. Okay. Wow. Then the next version was the short deck with those Subaru heads. And they said no. And then this is the third version with our own head. Okay, so when you shortened the deck, that's where they kind of threw the... That's when they, they made the rule. They made a rule. So then what you did is you came back, you're using a stock block from a Model A Ford, so that it's 11 inches. Right. But the individual cylinder heads go down into the cylinder, into the combustion chamber, right. Right. so that the, the you still are able to have a short stroke, right? In Stroke's still four inches. Still four inches. The rod is short. Shorter. Okay. So we, we got to use the same rods that we did when we cut the block down. Okay. We didn't have to change the cranker. We used yeah, the same crank neat. and rod. All we had to do was buy pistons. Yeah. Um, but so shorter rods. But is the total stroke still four inches? Yeah. Wow. From top from top to center to the bottom to the center, it's still four the inch stroke. stroke. The stroke on the original engine. Uh huh. Uh, was the same as this, this engine. All the strokes are four inches. Wow. So four by four wow. engine. It's great. Four inch bore, four inch stroke, which makes 201. The limit is 235, so way below the limit. So 235 cubic inches is the maximum that you can have in this class, right. and you're at 201 cubic inches. Right. So you have got, you know, you're, like you said, you're way below that threshold. Stock, and... a stock Mile A is four and a quarter by three and seven eighths. We're four by four. Wow. So if you go four by four and a quarter, you can get up close to that 235. Okay. But I don't like long strokes or long connecting rods on an engine that turns 7,000. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's unbelievable. Do we, um, so previously you said it, okay, so your record that you took is that you said it, it was 240 miles an hour. What was the previous record? Do you remember uh, roughly? Well, I went to the board meeting uh, when they made us illegal, mm -hmm. I was I was really upset. We'd spent a lot of time and money on that engine that we cut the top of the block off, and I said, "Screw you guys! We're going to show you how to go." The fastest Mali at that time was 216. So you went from 216 to 240. Yeah, so we bumped it pretty good. Yeah. And we gave up on Malays after that point. And that was in 13. Uh, we ran it last November mm -hmm. a year ago, two years ago, November of 20, and we got a record with it in the in the new Lakester okay. with the uh, Tremec, or the Liberty transmission. Yeah. So, so we still we still can run a Model A. We just did it for sure. shits and grins. That's great. So last weekend we, we stopped by your friends uh, Eric Hansen up in um, right. Anaheim and uh, he was also running some, a Model A. Yeah, he um, he's exactly like myself. He does everything himself. He doesn't have a Kevin to help him. Yeah. And his budget is, is a lot less than ours. But he puts Volvo heads on. Yeah. He actually cuts a Volvo head in half, puts a chunk of metal in there, and welds it back together. It makes a pair of cams, just like we did. He doesn't stick the head down in the hole. Yeah. He runs a blower, and with a blower you can, uh, you, it's a little more. Uh, you don't need. You can run the long bore on if you want. Yeah. And his wife also races the vehicle. Well, she's well. the driver. Yeah. Yeah, Ruth, I think, right? right she right. was almost. Yeah. She's trying to get in the two hundred mile per hour. Oh, she's been in the club a couple times. Yeah. Right? She. But uh, yeah, it was really neat to see that because, um, and I'll show some of the folks in the video that uh, one of Eric's uh, engine designs, uh, same, pretty much almost same principle, right? He's running the flat, you know, the the Model A block, and he has a Volvo cylinder head, which is also overhead cams, four valves, twin four cams, valves, twin cams. So essentially. Um, now, but he's, he has not exceeded your record at this point, right? No, he's still below no, that. No, I, he might get it. Uh, okay. He likes running the flathead. He really is a flathead V8 guy uh, with a turbo or turbo, yeah. Yeah. That's what he runs. But he's right at the limit. Okay. So he breaks a lot. So Mon I, don't like to These are very fragile. You guys call yeah, them potato chips. They're actually. terrible. Yeah. So that's why you've kind of gone to your own design, your own, like your three liter, your sheet metal and, and your V12. Yeah, after, after 12, after we ran this engine for a while, we built our own three liter four cylinder. Yeah. Taking all the disadvantages of the Malle and getting rid of them in the four liter. Yeah. So it's a short deck, eight inch deck, short stroke, three inch stroke, four and three eighths four, I think it's four and three eighths, three liter, uh, three valve, same basic head. Yeah. Uh, but the the architecture of the block is short, short, short. Because okay. 
It's like racing a giraffe. They just don't go fast. Sure, exactly. So I think, would you, are you cool, Pete, if we spend some time and tear this engine apart yeah. so we can show oh, great. We'll the take viewers? Take it, we'll it apart. Yeah, so that way, because I know a lot of folks really want to see some of the mechanical, um, you know, th these have been very popular amongst some of the viewers and they like the ingenuity and the design, but I think it would be neat to be able to show them. Yeah, we'll uh, do that. Done. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Stay tuned, folks, as we prepare part two of this video, and we will take you behind the scenes as how Kevin designed this unique one-of-a-kind cylinder head, and we will share with you some more tricks and trades of how Pete and Kevin were able to achieve a maximum speed of 240 miles an hour and set the record at 238.5. Now, the other advantage...